I've been thinking about doing a book club for quite some time. And just been like the struggle with that because I've it tried it because I really made a fundamental mistake. Big, big, big mistake. And part of that mistake was I thought that there would be more people who love books and learning and exploration and intellectual stimulation like I do. That was the first mistake. Once again, I assumed the marketplace was much bigger than it is. But I went out and I did an audio book club. Really didn't do that much. We then created some other stuff, but it's just part of what I like doing. So today, I sat down and I was like, okay, what kind of book club would make sense for what you do? Then I thought, and I was like, well, let's go back to why do you read books? And when I asked myself that question, it prompted another question. Why have the books that I've read changed? Years and years ago, I was a member of a book club. And we would get together once a month. And I was a member of the club about 15 years. We met pretty strong for about 12. Then it became more of a social club. I was the only dude in it that was a member. But I remember being one of the few people to always read the book. I often would lead the the, uh, the presentation and I would do the review because I read the book. I even got a few authors to come to the club that were local. And it was just really, really amazing how I forgot that. Because you guys don't want fiction books. You guys don't want anything that's not going to help you achieve your number one destination, which is to learn how to make money, manage money, or generate more money from the business you have or the business you want to start. And that's it. Anything else than that, that's fluff. That's fluff. That is, nah, nah, Glendon. No, G. We don't want that. We don't want that at all. So with that, I'm going to do the Hustlers Kung Fu Book Club maybe the Hustlers Kung Fu Business Book Club. Hadn't quite decided, but Hustlers Kung Fu and Book Club are in the mix. Now, what will you get out of this? I've identified a few things. Let's go back to the exploration process, because if you're listening to me, this is a process you can use to help yourself. Many people just like, get to the point, get to the point, get to the point. As long as you have the attention span of a dog or a squirrel, you're just going to get nuts. That's all I got to say. You're just going to get nuts. And as you as I go through this process of the YouTube channel, so I went to YouTube this morning, and I was like, well, are books doing well? Are, book, are people searching for books on YouTube? Mm, some books, yes. Most books, no. I was like, okay, it doesn't really make a lot of sense to put that here unless I do it a certain way. Because there are people like, just put it up. And I already know that whenever you get to deeper topics, when you're pushing for something that isn't easy or you, you, all of the electrical parts of your brain light up because you need all your brain. If people are like, uh, no, I'm not, I'm not interested in that. But for those of you who are, I got a process. We're going to read business books, but we're going to stay on a few topics. Mindset, which doesn't get the love that it should. Selling, because most people don't know how to sell. If most people knew how to sell, when someone was selling, they wouldn't be mad. Many people experience, I would say, a lot of bad selling or they experience hard selling. 
which I do because I like it that way. And the hard selling that is, the hard selling. And it's a problem because many people do not understand that if it wasn't for sales, many of you wouldn't have jobs. You know, speaking of that, Walmart's closing down, what, 150 stores? That's like massive. That's like totally, totally massive. So you've got that going on. So we're going to stick with mindset, business, selling, business process. Oh, now I'm just going to jump in this as a just a little sideways because we'll talk about this in the book club. There are many people, let's talk about LLCs, incorporation. Okay, incorporation is a business structure for risk management or tax efficiency. If you have a business where you sell a product or service and you get money, you have a real business. You may not be making a lot of money. Uh, that's something that a lot of ignorant people use, which is instead of using a broader vocabulary, it's like, well, that business makes substantial profits. Any business, I don't care if it is Jimmy Joe in his lemonade stand. If he has a product, he sells a, 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 the product and people pay Jimmy Joe money, it's a business or a business process. It might be a hustle. It may be a hustle, but any, in any regard, it's a hustle or a business, and it's real. If there's real money involved, it's real business. It just may not be on the level that you desire, which is a business that can support you. And supporting you is paying your mortgage, paying your bills, paying for your kids to go to school. That type of income. There's a difference there. So. When you are, we're going, because there's a lot of people who want me to like, hey, how do you incorporate? All right. And once again, this is a, just a sideways because a lot of people ask that question. Number one, no accountant or financial person is just going to bring you in and incorporate you without asking you some questions. A lot of the questions. My first incorporation cost me $5,000. And it wasn't like, I mean, dude asked me a shitload of questions. So there's no such thing as, quote, the general corporation. Everyone's needs are different. So if anyone tells you, just go ahead and ink, you're good. No. And there was this, uh, it, it just cracks me up because to me, the whole question of incorporation is a dodge from doing the things that actually make money. Because if you're making money, you have customers, you have traffic, you can do that later. You can start, it's, it's 2016, right? You can start a business right now and then December 15th, find you someone to do it yourself, incorporate, put your stuff together and be fine for taxes because it's your first year. Be fine, you can do it at the last minute and be fine for the whole year. So, unless you have a business that has risk or you need it for tax efficiency, focus on making some damn money first. I'm amazed at how many people want to do all of this upper level, high level shit and ain't made their first fucking dollar. It's a, it's a dodge. It's a waste of time. It's the procrastination game. Stop it. Now we're back to the book talk. Because it just pisses me off because a corporation can make you money if you're properly structured, but most people are not properly structured because they don't even know what a corporation does. Back to the books. So we'll talk about that in depth. And one of the things that I'm going to do, because I believe that I should give up my learning method because I don't read books the same way that most people read books. Sometimes I read a book or listen to a book 10 times. It takes me that long to get everything. And I don't think that I'm alone in that regard. But when I put this stuff together, we're going to read the book. I'm going to read the book. I'm going to present it. I'm going to give the book to you in advance. It will not be like, well, we're going to meet Sunday 
and I give you the book title Saturday. No, no, no. Uh, what I'm going to do is set this up two weeks in advance. I'm going to give you the book recommendation below. Then we're going to have a one to two hour presentation, maybe longer, just depending upon the book, where I'm going to outline how to use what's in the book and perhaps look at it a little differently than you look at it because I've read books and come away with totally different takeaways that I've been able to apply to business, but part of that is I have a business to apply it to. If you're out there just go gaining knowledge, gaining knowledge, gaining knowledge, it's not bad. But if you're not applying faster than you gain, you're missing out on 90% of the lesson. You read it. Uh, I've read books where the author was really good and what they had to say did not apply to my business. But when I tweaked it, I made it fit where I got benefit. Because if I was listening to them, it wouldn't work. Like, give you give you an example. I'm doing this thing called intermittent fasting. You can catch it on my heavykungfu.com because I talk about it. And I've read all of this information by people who who have fitness certifications. It doesn't work. And I've lost 25 pounds while intermittent fasting. I'm going into my second month eating cake, drinking soda with my meals. But it doesn't work. And I'm like, oh, no. But part of the thing is, and I, I'll give you something else. Once again, related to fitness. Uh, there's this uh, amino acid, L-arginine, right? There's videos where it's like, it doesn't work. Now, once again, this is where the education process comes in. I don't look at the first signal. I'll look at the second, third, fourth, fifth signal. So there's a lot of guys out there who are saying it doesn't work. Then I noticed something that everyone that says it didn't work were young. Then I kept doing some research. Then I came across another video, not a lot of views, very scientific. Then the guy who had been a trainer of bodybuilders and, and he's been a nutrition guy for 50 years said, this is the strange thing about L-arginine. If you're young and in good shape, it does nothing for you. But if you're older and you've suffered uh, cellular damage, it can be a godsend. So you have many people who look at the first signal and then it's like, okay, that's it. You got to look at the second signal, the third, the fourth, the fifth. And I, I did that research and then he broke it down at stories that aligned with what I had experienced. But if I had looked at the first signal, like most people do, I would have never found it. And there's a lot of people who could benefit from L-arginine, but because they're listening to people who took it and it doesn't work, they're not lying. They're not even putting out misinformation. They're putting out information that doesn't cover all demographics. Going back to incorporation. You can't put out a video talking about corporation with some meat in it because everyone has different needs different requirements they're in a different spot so it gets to be really really challenging to do that but that's why you have to be very specific so with the book club i'm going to get real specific and give you some examples of how you can use this stuff and the thing is let me just say this i'm not doing it for free you knew that was coming if you've been a member of this channel and there's a lot of people who are like eh, i can get this for free i gave my dating process to six people, explained it, showed them how I did it. These are people who saw the results. Not one of them could duplicate it. And I explained it to them. I gave it to them. And because they don't know how to learn, and these are smart dudes, they couldn't really figure it out. Then I took one under my wing and I mentored him through it. Then he started getting results. So yes, you could find certain things for free and I pissed off a lot of people by putting that in there because essentially they took it as I was saying they were stupid what I was saying was they didn't have a good educational learning process which many people don't because many people stop learning and reading after they get out of high school after they get out of college and they're kind of done with that stuff so what's the old adage if you don't use it you're gonna lose it but 
that's the thing. So I'm not doing this for free. Um, I have a price point in my head because you got to get the book. I'm going to stick to as many audible books as possible. Uh, some of the better books are not in available in audio format. So you're going to have to, you know, read paper. So I'm going to give you the book. We're going to go through it. And I'm going to create a mini class. Just like I said, two, three hours. We're going to go through it, give you some information. I'll have it at hustlerskungfu.com as a private course. See, this is why I love this platform. Because say you come in as a client of mine for consulting, right? Well, I have the ability to give you your own private course. No one can see it, and I can put stuff in there for you, and you can come retrieve it. And it's just there forever and ever. This is why I like this stuff, which is pretty damn awesome. So I'm going to create a private course. It's going to be a Hustlers Kung Fu, either business book club or book club, and we'll get deep. So I'll do the mini class where you can get the most benefit out of the book. I'll give you my method on how I do this stuff. And then you, it'll be recorded and you can ask questions. And that's, and I've got a new learning platform too that I can actually distribute information. So that's going to make it very hot. So the information will be below the video if you are interested in improving your future. If you are interested in learning how to be better. If you're interested in making more money. That information will be below, and I may run an early bird special. Like I said, I'm driving. I'm figuring this out. When I get to my desk, I'll pin down some hard concepts, and I'll give it to you. And the thing is, I don't expect a lot of people to sign up because many people look at learning, reading books, like getting a cold or getting the, or getting the flu. Like, oh, no, no, don't give me that. Don't give me that. Just make it easy for me. True success is not easy. There's a lot of information out there, quote, the secret. Now, I do believe the, uh, the power of your subconscious mind. I do believe in that. However, I also believe in hard work. And I think that if you put those two things together, you can have an amazing life. But this whole notion of you're going to get a lot of something in your life with little to minimum output is a farts and yeah people are crazy it's a farce it's just literally a farce so in the comments below if you like books because you know once I mentioned book club I know a lot of people tuned out put down there with some stuff that you're interested in now I'm going to give you the play I'm not doing a lot of this. I don't jump on a lot of new platforms. Uh, there's Blab. There's this other stuff. See, this is something that many people fail to miss. How can you get good at something if you keep jumping around? And I've looked at some stuff. Like uh, recently, I just experimented and played around with Google Live for about five months. And it's just not ready for prime time. I don't know if they're going to devote some resources to it, but it has a lot of problems. Uh, there's the delay. It's the big problem is most people don't know how to use it. And it's it, when you start getting into one step, two steps, three steps, four steps, people start getting lost. They're like, whoa, whoa, there's too many steps there, Glenda. There's too many steps. So. It's not really, really working out like I think they envisioned. And that's one of the reasons that I went to the new training platform because for the webinars, because it just wasn't working out because so many people. And another thing was with the chat. Because the signal was broad and I was getting a lot of people. I had people who were not interested in the lesson. They were interested in the attention. And they would come in and just start all kinds of fuckery because they were bored. So that was another issue. But if you're on the email list, all that stuff would be below where you could be alerted of how these things will go down. Then you'll, you'll, you won't have that problem in the new spot. I'll be able to do a lot of things that I couldn't do with the live stream and a lot of things I couldn't do with GoToWebinar. I want to get away from GoToWebinar. They don't offer you a lot. 
but the thing is, it's very, very rock solid and consistent. And that is one of the uh, the best things about it. Now, lots of reasons a lot of people like it. Love it. But we're going to expand on some things. We're going to have a lot of fun. And I'm going to bring books to you that are not mainstream or trendy, but timeless. I find myself going back to a lot of my earlier books for renewed perspective, refreshing, and some of these books are just evergreen, timeless, evergreen, same word, and some things haven't changed about human beings, just some things haven't. So just some for you to put your hat on, chew on, and think about. All right, so all the details below of the Hustlers Kung Fu Book Club are below. You can check it out, and I will hopefully see you in two weeks. All right? All right.